Good morning, everybody. We've got the packs loaded up, and it's time for another Appalachian Trail section hike. Let's get to it. spot for through hikers to stop over for a few days we're going to be parking in hot springs taking a shuttle ride with the blue ridge hiking company up to max patch and we will then hike the 20.3 miles or somewhere around there back to hot springs Got dropped off at Max Patch. We're heading up to the top. Probably be the best view we get of the day, most likely. The most scenic part of this section. We'll show it to you when we get there. We were actually going to get dropped off at the road crossing for the AT, uh, but we got dropped off at the parking lot for Max Patch. So we're going to have to hit that trail, that section of trail, another time. It's only like three quarters of a mile. So next time we bring some friends or family up here, we'll probably just do that section and meet them up here at Max Patch. Made it up to the top of Max Patch. Best view of the day, probably. We'll show you if we find more. We are coming down off of Max Patch, heading out. We're gonna have a couple of miles of downhill pretty much and then we'll have to make the decision to either camp before bluff mountain or uh, climb it and go down the other side and save the rest for tomorrow we'll see what happens Patch received an influx of visitors at the beginning of COVID, March and April in 2020, with everyone trying to get outside, and finally got to a point where there were hundreds of abandoned tents up on the bald, trash everywhere, and uh, everything else you can imagine, coolers, grills, 
and it was shortly after that that the summit was closed to all camping for two years and uh, currently they're talking about closing it indefinitely because of how well it's healed up. It did definitely look a lot better up there than the first time we visited. We are officially in the green tunnel for a little while. This section from Max Patch to Hot Springs going northbound is considered a really good section for first time backpackers and people wanting to get on the AT for the first time. It's 20.3 miles and uh, just a little over 3,600 feet of elevation, which is about as minimal as you're going to get up here in the Appalachians. We don't really have any concrete plans on where we're staying at, which particular shelter or campsite. We've got three days total to do this, so it may just be a two day, one night, or if we fill up to it, we might just take it easy and make it a two night, three day trip into hot springs. We'll just uh, take it as the day goes. about six miles in for the day. I'm gonna stop up here at a water source in a minute and uh, get some food in us, get our water bottles filled back up, and uh, probably take our packs off for a few minutes before we start this climb up to uh, Walnut Mountain and Bluff Mountain and make a decision what we're doing on the campsite situation for the night. We'll see you in a bit. Pulled pork, pita pocket, barbecue flavor twist Frito, and some freshly filtered water. Lemon Gap, 6.2 miles in, and uh, time to start making the climb. A little cloudy, and in the green tunnels, keeping us pretty shaded, but it's still a little humid, a little warm. 
been in the mid to upper 70s all day. It's been pretty nice. Just a few of the flame azaleas still hanging in there. Last of the season. After being in the woods for a good while, looks like we might get a little bit of a view maybe. Coming into this grassy clearing here. Some views. Pretty nice and open. A little overgrown though. Expected this time of the year. stopped here at the Walnut Mountain Shelter for about 15-20 minutes. When we got here, the guys we shuttled with were hanging out and we talked with them for a few minutes, had us a snack and hydrated up, fixing to climb down into this uh, Kale Gap, I believe it is, and on to Bluff Mountain. Definitely wouldn't recommend this shelter unless it was an absolute emergency. It is in pretty rough shape. Down that road, is uh, the water I think it's only a tenth of a mile the privy is over this way down this trail and then we've got the bear cables right over here we have been a little over seven and a half miles so far it's about a little after 3 30 uh, right now we're thinking we're going to try and go ahead and get over Bluff Mountain. That'll be the last really big climb of this section. That way tomorrow will be all downhill and we can get into Hot Springs tomorrow evening and have us some uh, late lunch or dinner and head back to the house. We are still making our climb up Bluff Mountain. Got about another mile left up to the top and we're only about two miles away from where we're planning to camp tonight. Another 700 feet of climb or so and we'll be to the top all downhill to Hot Springs. We made it to the summit of Bluff Mountain finally, only about uh, three quarters of a mile away from the site we're going to be setting the tent up tonight. Uh, as one of the commenters on Far Out put, the least remarkable mountain on this section of trail. I don't think that's true, but there's definitely no view, and uh, if there are campsites, they're probably not very good. We're going to head on to our site for the night. If you want to camp a little earlier, the uh, fills gap that's probably like a half a mile before the summit of Bluff Mountain, it looked pretty nice. Uh, there was room for three or four tenths probably. And uh, about two tenths of a mile before fills gap, there was a pretty nice uh, water source there to fill up with before you get to camp. All right, we made it to home for the night. Time to uh, get the tent set up and get some food in us. We're starving. This is our Big Agnes Copper Spur UL3 HV backpacking tent. We've had it for, I guess, about a year, coming up soon. 
and uh, we really like it. Uh, it's one of the first tents we've ever had that uh, doesn't really have a problem with condensation and uh, it it's just held up well and seems to be made very well. Then on the inside we've got our uh, our two-person sleeping bag set up got our it's got a pocket underneath it for the mattress pads to sit in it's got a pocket up in the top for your pillow and then we just really like this tent because of all the uh, loft storage space to put stuff then you can also buy another net where you can just put even more stuff in the top so if you're interested in a very comfortable two-person tent although this is meant for three people uh, definitely recommend it and give it a try or maybe one of their other tents. It's like... We are set up here at this campsite. It was at 10.7 miles. So tomorrow will be like nine and a half miles into Hot Springs. Uh, site's a little unlevel, but it's going to work for us for the night. We're going to finish getting all our food put up and get cleaned up a little bit and probably be ready to head in the tent and call it a night. That's it for day one. We'll see you in the morning. morning day two we're uh, gonna head into hot springs here in a little bit we woke up enjoyed the sights and sounds of the forest in the morning and drank a little coffee had some grits and oatmeal and fixing to start getting motivated and packed up and ready to head into town we are all packed up sites nice and clean just the way we found it time to get into hot springs we had a great night's sleep last night wind was blowing through the trees uh comfortable temperatures tent was a little on a slant but it was still a good night's sleep anyway we've got 9.5 miles into hot springs this morning and it's mostly downhill except for one little uphill after garen flow gap Lots of great rhododendron or Rose Bay rhododendron blooming all along this section of trail right now. Here at uh, Big Rock Spring, just about a mile from where we camped last night, filling up all of our water. This looks like the most reliable water source uh, until you get into hot springs. So, uh, we're going to definitely fill up all our bottles here.
We are at Garen Flow Gap, which is just the end of a Forest Service Road, mile 14 on this section. It's about 3.4 more miles to the next shelter, and then about another three miles from there into town. So we've got around 6.3, 6.4 miles still left to get into Hot Springs. A long way from Katahdin. While we've enjoyed hiking this section, uh, some people might find it more enjoyable to hike it in the early spring or in the fall to get some, uh, some leaf change or when the trees don't have leaves on them to uh, get a few more views. But it's been really nice. Some of the rhododendron are blooming, still some wildflowers hanging on. Uh, just depends on what kind of hike you're looking for. A little bit of a mountain view through the trees. We're taking a nice pack off break here at the Deer Park Mountain Shelter. The shelter's in pretty rough shape, probably just uh, emergency only in my opinion. Uh, plenty of good tent sites here so I'd rather stay in my tent. There's also a uh, privy up the hill. There's bear cables and then on the trail on the way to the shelter there's a small stream uh, kind of dried up right now but on the other side of the AT going the other direction there's a uh, supposed to be a nice water source which we're gonna hit on the way out we just got all the water bottles filled up one more time 2.9 miles left in the hot springs let's go there's two graves right off the side of the trail a George and Eva Craig born in the late 1880s he died in 1966, she died in 1940. We just finished our last uphill climb, only about a mile left in the hot springs. Starting to get some little views of hot springs. We're almost there. We're in downtown Hot Springs, fixing to go eat at the Spring Creek Tavern, get some food. We are back at the house. We really enjoyed this section hike of the Appalachian Trail. 10 miles both days was a little rough on us, but we're uh, certainly ready to be back at the house and get some rest and relaxation in before heading back to work. If you're going to do this section, 
I'll say that we definitely were glad with the fact that we summited Bluff Mountain on the first day and uh, then had predominantly downhill uh, terrain all the second day. Hope you enjoyed our trip and we look forward to our next adventure. Please like the video, subscribe to us on YouTube, and also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We'll see you next time. Thank you.